Um, Ron, you, you, you look at Omar Maxwell, he's got to play 73 games. I think it is 73. He never missed a it's game a in his career, but he's played with the same guys, the Chapman's, Hosty, Mant, uh, Sam Jordan. Um, those were guys that were seniors that he played with. How different is it going to be? Because this team's going to have its own identity. How tough is it going to be for him to just get adjusted to the way they play after playing three full seasons with a, basically with a totally different cast? I mean, Jack played some with him, and, and Gavin played a little bit with him, but basically it's a new cast. It is. It is new cast, and it's not because uh, Amar is unselfish and Amar wants that opportunity. I think any player <laughs> that waits his time to lead a team wants – to have that and excel in that. So um, I don't think it's an adjustment. I think it's an opportunity. Again, we go back to the O word, you know, opportunity is Gavin had it and now it's Amar's time to, you know. Be a leader. Be a leader. And your opportunity is to lead a team. And the thing is, Amar has high basketball IQ. He knows when to go and when not to go. And I think he already trusts those guys because he's been around them, you know, uh, for how long. And we've, we've done a lot of summer work where this off season was integral on what we were trying to accomplish in this season. And we may not get to where we want to go, but we are, you know, we have goals and um, uh, Amar uh, understands that this is his team and he's got to lead, you know, he's got to lead by example. Did you see your season flash in front of your eyes when he went down in the first quarter? I mean, no. uh, again, like we talked about Gavin Davis, tough. here's a guy that only knows one way to play. Yeah. And You're talking about Amar? Yeah. No, I'm, Amar's tough, I, I know. Amar sacrifices his body so much when he goes in there. He's he's one of the best players. He's never missed a game, but he plays the same. He way. does, and he's one of the, he is one of the best players at absorbing contact, initiating contact, uh, because he attacks. He was pretty high, man. I'm telling you, he, he was pretty high in the air when he came I have down to watch him, But he he's always in attack mode. So when you got a guy in attack mode, you know you're, you're going to get a lot of contact. But he plays above the rim, and he, he's willing to. That's tough. That's big time. So. Um, I knew he was fine, especially if it went over there. You know, it's just hurt because, you know, you land on your – he's a tough kid. He's tough mentally and physically, and I, I love that kid. You to, – to, co to coach the teams you've Young man. Right. To coach the teams that you've had – got to coach the last two years, it's not so much coaching. Just bringing them in and refreshing maybe. Um, reminding sometimes you got to coach um, – attitudes maybe a little bit more than – and I know they didn't – there were no, no bad attitudes. No. We we've had to we've had to do we've had to start from scratch. We have. Um, well, that's what I'm getting at. We it's, have. It, it's not like you're coaching a button, right? Yeah. You know, I've, I've I've had to. These guys haven't got the time with me, or the time that those guys have had last year. So, are they playing in practice? Yes. Are they getting the exact attention to detail over the last couple of years that, you know, it's hard to do when you've got your varsity guys that play all the time. So. Uh, you know, we've been repping, and we're, you know, we just now put an out-of-bounds play in yesterday, <laughs> and we couldn't run out-of-bounds play. We were at Poker last week, we didn't have one out-of-bounds play, and we called a fake one, you know, so uh, that's not what I'm worried about how we're running right now, but we are trying to focus on the foundation of who we are, uh, and we're going to get it right, we're going to, we're, we're going to rep, we're going to rep, we're going to rep, and, and, and until we can get it right, and then we're going to move on, so, uh, um, you know, it is a lot of that goes into it, but these guys are—they're open to it. They're not complaining. If I—if I get upset and we do something wrong that we've been taught, or we make a mistake, uh, and, and, and we got to run extra sprints, or you know, they didn't—they—they they don't complain. They just do the, they just do their job and, and they go after it. I'm going to ask you this just one time, and I won't I really know broach this probably the the rest of the season. But there, last year's team is gone. Was yeah. it what you? You know, you talked about missing those guys last year late in the season because you knew it was running down. Was it what you thought it would be when you walked into the gym for the first practice? Or, I mean, I mean look what those guys, those guys were there for four years, man. I mean, you know, and I've told this to the guys from day one. I remember last year's day one with our seniors. Last year was like, you know, let's make up for us losing the state championship game. This year it was, hey, I don't want to compare you to last year's team. It's not fair to compare you to last year's team. Last year's team is a generational team that is maybe two or three. Is is just the pieces and and that and the demeanors and and the personalities and the dedication to their community and their schools is second to none. And they will always go down in Shady Spring lore and always go down in history. And as, you almost had to slow them down at times. You did, rather than now you might have to speed them up. Yeah, I'm sure that's a different kind of coach. And I miss I miss those guys. And and, and you know the, the, the beauty of of these guys is they appreciate and they see how much that team did for them. And they like were there in Charleston for three straight years. 
You think Gavin Davis learned something the way it was style play? He played from playing with those guys for the Absolutely. last Absolutely. They went against the best players every day for the last three years, and it made them better. And, and, and they are all about seizing opportunity. And, uh, well, he told me that he told you, Coach, I've been waiting for this, and I'm not going to let you down now. And, and, he, and, he, and he hasn't, you know. And, uh, but, you know, I want these guys to shape their own identity. We are not going to be last year's team. We are not going to, you know, I, we may not beat somebody by 40. We may beat a grinded out team. We, like tonight, perfect example. We had to grind it. We were up. We were down. We were up. We were down. Yeah, I have a feeling last year's team probably would have cut through them. Pretty easily. And defensively Probably. turned them over yeah. a lot more maybe Probably. than you did. But they and, and, don't have to be no. last year's team. They only have to be themselves. They, they got to be themselves and let's embrace who we are and, and, and who you are is going to be special. Well, I'm going to do my best to not bring that up, but I told you one time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we, 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 we want to embrace the, 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 the past because they made us the past is, is what makes us now. Yeah, but if you're still talking about it in January and February, yeah. guys, my yeah. guys, guys you know, we're no, trying we're, here to do what I, you know, and I'm sure you'll, you'll handle that. Just, the way you need to do it, yeah. you know, and that, that's let them be themselves. You know, they're only a special group in their own way. And uh, you can have, just like you have multiple kids, you love all your kids the same, but they all special in their own way. Right. And I think this this group is going to etch their uh, selves in the history of, of Shady Spring. Uh, and, and, and and that's what I believe. And that's we got what some we shooters. Do. We got some shooters. We got some guys that want to play. We got some guys that want to compete and be here. And, and that's what Shady Spring basketball is all about. And uh, uh, hopefully our, our, our fans and our, our, our school and community can be proud again of, of what we're, product we're going to put on the floor. Hey, Ronnie, I appreciate it. Thank you, man. You're